Hello everyone. My name is Pavan Sharma and I am a technical marketing engineer with Cisco Systems MIZ routing business unit. I am going to discuss some of the new quality of service feature that is introduced in iOS XR 7.3.1 on the NCS 500 and NCS 5500 series routers. The very first feature I am going to talk is shared policy instance. What's the use case? So sometimes we have multiple customers aggregated on a single port and each customer have multiple services on it. And we need to provide aggregate bandwidth or aggregate SLA for that particular customer. SPI feature ensures that aggregate SLA is achieved between multiple sub interface that belongs to the same ports. If I need an aggregate SLA of 5 Gbps for the services of customer A, I can have an SPI for 5 Gbps on those sub interface that belongs to customer A. So the bandwidth profile is actually shared. So for ingress, it is the same set of policer ID for each sub interface or for egress, all the sub interface will share the same set of view queues. The scope of this policy sharing is limited to the same parent interface that is the same physical interface or our same bundle interface. So here is how we configure an SPI. So the first step is as usual we need to create the policy map that we want to share. Then we have to apply the policy map to the sub interface along with a shared policy instance ID. So along with the service policy input SPI in the shared policy instance keyword is used and we give an unique ID per direction. Let's take a look how SPI looks like in a live router. So I have an NCS 540 router running 731 code and I have applied some shared policy in two of the sub interface 10 gig is 16.1001 and 16.2002. Now if I do a show QoS to see how these QoS policies are actually programmed on the interface. So if I look at the output direction policy here, I can see the policy map name is SPI out and there is an SPI ID of 0x16 is used along with POQ base 1304. Now the same on interface 1002 if I check I can see the SPI ID is same and VOQ base is same. That means the bandwidth profile between these two sub interface are actually aggregated and defined by the policy map SPI out. Now similarly for the input direction if I check I see my policy map name and I can see an SPI ID and also I can see there is a policer bucket ID for each class here this class is class default and policer bucket ID is 0x180. Now if I take a look at the other sub interface I can see the same SPI ID of 0x15 policy map name is SPI in and in the class level I can see the same policer bucket ID that means the policing will be aggregate for the traffic that will come into these two sub interfaces 161001 and 16.1002. Let's go to the next feature. So this new feature is enhancement of unique policy map scale with template. So some context. Each policy map on the system have an ID and total unique ID that we can have in the system is 250. And also a same policy map can be attached to multiple different interface. They will just consume one single ID. Thus, because of the total unique ID, we can have only 250 unique ingress policies in the system. Now, depending on how we define uniqueness. So prior to 7.3.1, we are defining the uniqueness by the policy map name. So that means we can have only 250 unique policy map names in the system. With 7.3.1, we are changing the definition of uniqueness and we are using template based definition to define the uniqueness. Thus, we can have say more than 250 policy map name and they can have say different policing parameters like one for 100 Mbps, one for 1000 Mbps and yet they will consume only one unique ID. This is the new definition. Policy maps will share the same unique ID only if they use the same classification criteria independent of the class map name. Also if they have the same action of policing independent of the policing rate be it 100 Mbps or 1000 Mbps or 5 Gbps. If it is policing they are unique action and also if they have the same marking action. That means they are using the same type of marking whether it, they are marking with traffic class 5 in this example and they are policing at different rate but they are actually two different policy map name 
but they are actually one single unique policy so here is how we verify like the same policy map name if i if i see this so feature manager cli here with 731 i can see they are using a same feature name and there are two policy map name with respect to this feature but prior to 7.3.1 we had this feature name as the policy map name and and it is actually two unique ids assigned assigned to these two policy maps here are some more example like here the two policy maps shown here are unique because they are using the same classification criteria the classification is based on cost matching of five although class map names are different they are using the same policing and they are using the same marking so although they have two different name and, and two different policing rate they are actually two unique policies some example of how uniqueness will be violated here p1 and p2 are non-unique because they have different markings although policing action is same similarly p2 and p3 will be non-unique although their policy rates and policing actions are same they have different markings so these these three policies are non-unique in nature and and they will consume three different unique ids that was all for today thank you